everybody. This is Sammy from Bourbon and Booze, and I'm back with another Wednesday Coffee Time. And we're coming back around to um, a brand that we've done before, the Black Rifle Company. So if you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and make sure you check out all of our other uh, episodes Monday through Friday as we drop something different on whiskeys and liquors of all sorts, as well as cocktails on Friday. So. We are going to circle back to Black Rifle Coffee. When I purchased Black Rifle, I bought three of them, three different kinds. They're a little bit more expensive per ounce um, than your normal brand, but it is a coffee, um, craft coffee, so to speak, I guess. Uh, they don't really give us a lot of detail about what um, they have in it, but I can tell you that this is most likely 100% Arabica. Um, just from the way it tastes and the way it smells and, and that uh, just that essence that I'm getting. Uh, the, this is their vintage brand. So this is, I guess, I don't know what you want to call their... I, I, I haven't quite figured out their marketing scheme. They are ex-military and so everything is um, military based. Like if you remember our first one was Silencer Smooth and it had a picture of a gun with a silencer on it. Um, and it was really, really good. Um, I'm assuming this might be their first that they tried or they're just using a, um, uh, I don't know, a kind of a, a device, so to speak, to market this as being uh, old school by calling it vintage. It is in a really cool package that looks like a little medical kit, which is dear to my heart, because when I was in the military, I was a um, naval corpsman, a combat medic, and um, got to work a lot with Marines and uh, <clears throat> just medical issues to begin with, uh, and served in the Middle East and everything. So it's kind of really cool, and I really have a lot of respect for this company. <clears throat> But, like I say, they don't really give us a lot of details about what they have. So I'm assuming this is uh, Arabica. I can't really find anywhere on here or their website to say what it is. This is a medium roast. This is a pre-ground package. I think you can get all of their different um, styles, their different blends in bean or ground. And you can get it in K-Cup, by the Keurig Cup. Uh, pots, but this is a medium roast ground um, coffee. It does. I did this in the percolator, not in a mocha pot or anything like that. It's a normal household drip pot, and it smells really good. A little bit of chocolatey, um, earthy, just a slight hint of kind of a citrusy, whether it's a lemon or orange. You know, just that citrusy, can't really define it though, but it's there. A little bit of vanilla as well on the aroma. But this is not a bitter coffee from the nose that I can tell. So this is something that I would attribute to a morning coffee. So <clears throat> I want something for me in the morning that is smooth and caffeine filled, but not bitter um, and rather flavorful because I will drink my coffee black most of the day. In the evening is when I start adding creamer and that is where I want a little bit more bitterness, um, boldness to my coffee. But this is a nice aromatic pleasant coffee and it's a pretty decent color. Um, I tend to kind of, depending on what I'm doing, how many scoops I'm putting in the pot or how much in the mocha pot or whatever, so it all depends on me. It all depends on if it's a mocha pot, press pot, pour over, whatever. Uh, but for this, it was it was about three scoops for a 12 cup. And when I talk about scoops, they're about a half or a tablespoon each. So it's kind of moderate to heavy. Very smooth. Um, I'm not sure that I would call this an, a traditional flavor, like, um, you know, a Maxwell House Folgers uh, type of community coffee, you know, your typical restaurant style or morning style coffee. But it is very smooth and flavorful. Um, kind of uh, a nutty, earthy 
almost would say chocolatey flavor. I'm not getting a lot of that citrusy I, was, I spoke about on the palate that I would on the nose, um, but I am still getting some sort of vanilla sweetness to it. But this is really good. This would be my morning coffee. Um, I, I would have to think back to Silence or Smooth when we did it, whether that was a morning or afternoon coffee. But I think that was a morning coffee as well. So I think what Black Rifle's doing, and I got one more. Um, what Black Rifle's doing is really just kind of toying with the different profile um, flavoring of a single bean they're getting. I don't think they're getting a bunch of different beans. They might, they might be getting some Guatemalan and Nicaraguan type of uh, Arabica or uh, um, Robusto bean. But I think they're getting one bean and then they are roasting it to different levels and maybe with a different little bit of additive flavoring to it to get different styles. But <clears throat> very, I don't know is really good coffee, but not distinguished from one brand to the nether. I'm not sure I would ever get a cup of this and say, oh, that is Black Rifle coffee. Where I can, like Folgers, I can tell Folgers coffee from any other coffee. I can tell um, Brit coffee from Costa Rica from any other coffee. Um, La Vaza for espresso. You can really kind of identify that. With this, I'm not sure. I can't, but that doesn't mean I don't think this is really well. However, like I said, price-wise for uh, ounceage, I don't know that this is really worth it. This is a, I think this might be a one pound package. I don't actually see the ounces, ounces on here. Oh, I do, and this little tiny thing, it does say it's 100% Arabica, so that's the first indication that I've seen where it comes from. It's very difficult to see on this package in my eyesight and in the studio because it's it's a lot darker. It looks light for you, but it's kind of dark for me. Um, this cost me $14.99, and I think this is a one pound package. Oh, 12 ounces, sorry, 12 ounces. So one pound for 12 ounces, 14 bucks, almost 15 bucks. That's a little on the steep end, but it is vintage. And it's also very, um, uncommon to find. We found this in a gun show. Um, I see advertisements for it on uh, YouTube all the time just because of the nature of videos I watch, you know, on coffees or um, liquors and stuff. It just kind of falls within. And then when you, once you watch a video um, directly, it just keeps popping up. But we found this in a gun store uh, locally. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, so you might be able to find it, but you can order online. I I'm going to have to give a definite thumbs up to Black Rifle for Morning Brew. Now, I think my next one on Black Rifle, which is going to be a few weeks down the line, is an espresso. So I'm really excited to try that in the mocha pot um, and see how uh, much of a difference that is and see if that's more of an evening coffee than a morning coffee. Because kind of like my coffee is different. I like a morning coffee. I like an evening coffee. Tell us what you think about Black Rifle coffee. Um... Have you had it before? Are there any other veteran-owned coffees out there that we should give a try? Uh, check out our Monday, Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays, and Friday videos as well. Monday is what we call Oddity Day. It's liquors of non-whiskey tree descent. So it's going to be rums and tequilas and vodkas and liqueurs and uh, what did I miss? Gins. All sorts of other different little things. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we devote to coffee or to uh, whiskeys um, from all over the world. And on Friday, we take all of the different stuff that we have and we make different types of cocktails. And sometimes it might be a traditional coffee or a cocktail like a Irish coffee or a mojito or a Sazerac or um, a martini or something. But we always do a little twist to it, bourbon and booze style. And I think I might want to try some coffee cocktails with the Black Rifle, so we'll try that. But let you know, let us know what you think. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And we will see you tomorrow for whiskey. Bye.